one of the things that happen, one of the toxicities of modern civilization is kids have lost contact with their parents because kids were meant to be on their parents' evolutionary point of view till they grow up. In the United States, 25% of women have to go back to work within two weeks to giving birth for economic reasons. Now that's a massive abandonment of children. Most children from an early age on spend most of their time around other kids, which means, and the brain will attach to whoever you're around. So when you're around other kids all the time, your brain creates the peer relationships as your primary attachment, which immediately alienates you from your parent. And now you give these kids this technology that even when they go home, they can still be with their peers on Facebook or, or whatever programs are available because kids need to attach to connect with somebody and because the adult world no longer provides children with those healthy, stable attachments for me, in many cases, kids look to each other and the technology simply enables that to happen in a highly addictive and pernicious fashion. Not to mention that the technology itself is designed to make people addicted to itself. It's called neuromarketing. They know how to appeal to the most addiction prone circuits of your brain. This is not conspiracy theory. This is conspiracy reality. It's been documented. So there's all kinds of reasons why the technology as amazing as it is. And you know, it allows conversations like this one and it used to be called the information highway. It was designed for mature adults to exchange scientific intellectual information, but it's, it's what's really become is a instrument of mass hypnosis, immature people connecting with each other because they've lost their relationship to mature adults. So it's, it's pernicious. And along with that comes the attention that they get from their peers, right? If their parents are absent or the kin work has been offloaded onto strangers, childcare, babysitters, then these children are going to crave that attention from somewhere and social media very quickly provides it. Absolutely. And, and if you look at, how should I say this? Uh, I, I read, um, about a half a year ago about some social media celebrity who farts into a bottle and then <laughs> sells it. What the heck is that about? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's about the humor of a two year old, you know, uh, that people are actually paying money for this. So what do you get famous for? You get famous for farting into a bottle for God's sakes, you know, or, um, there are kids on TikTok who, uh, as far as I know, have billions of followers and make, you know, more money in a month than, than I might in a 10 lifetimes, you know, I mean, and for what for, for advertising a certain toy, you know? Right. So um, I'm not saying this resentfully, I I'm just saying. Is that the values we want to inculcate in our kids? 